Welcome, and thank you for joining another edition of the Guyana National Bureau of Standards monthly television program, the GNBS in 30. In this edition, we have some exciting news to share with you, which includes the opening of our brand new sub-office in the town of Lethem in Region 9, and the Made in Guyana Certification Mark program, which has had several new companies come on board. In addition, we have successfully hosted multiple school lectures in the month of November as we strive to provide a culture of quality through standards. I am Chelsea Griffith. Sit back and let us educate and entertain you in this edition of the GNBS in 30. We are the National Standards Body of Guyana. We ensure quality, consistency, and safety. We are a driving force for business growth and development through our training and consultancy program. We test the testers. We ensure companies maintain operations at the highest possible level, ensuring their devices are calibrated and their products are tested. Certification marks ensure confidence because of the accredited tests behind them. We provide audit and certification to laboratories and local products to national standards. We ensure accuracy. One standard. One test accepted everywhere. Delivering solutions. Working with consumer representatives. Driving business growth and development. Boosting Guyana's economy. Improving quality. The Guyana National Bureau of Standards. Welcome back. On November 16, the GNBS opened the doors of its brand new sub-office in the town of Lethem in Region 9. The modernized and expanded facility will enable the GNBS to better provide its core services to the residents of the rapidly developing region which borders with Brazil. Initial services which will be provided include product monitoring, measurement, verification and training. Here are the highlights from the program. Coming into this region in, in a much bigger space, we intend to start working with the small and micro enterprise in this region to provide training, technical assistance, and certification. So that, you know, one day, all of us, you know, you can begin to access other markets and compete um, nationally as well as regionally with your products and, you know, meeting standards. So we can start with the national standards and then eventually move to the international standards. Of course, I must congratulate GNBS for having the structure being constructed here and establishing a full-fledged office. And this is the center, right, of the development within the region. So we, I'm, I'm so thankful for you guys to be part of our continuous development and station here so that things could be put right. And I listened to the rep from the ARIO saying that when we go to purchase things, it must be of the right weight, the right texture, you know, quality. We're looking at quality. So these things will be adhered to.
Your service, like all the other government regulatory agencies, are always needed in various parts of the countries. But because the Latem and the Rupununi region is on the move, developing, we're now the center of the development pool or one of the main development pools in Guyana because of the amount of goods, the amount of fruits and vegetables and all the other goods that are available from Roraima because of the interactions between the President of Guyana and Prime Minister Motley and the Governor of Roraima and the amount of goods over the next few years that we're moving from Roraima to CARICOM and beyond, then we welcome an agency such as DNBS to ensure that that product that would eventually leave Guyana, leave Rupununi initially and then for a bigger market, is of the international branding that we are seeing. and sincere gratitude to all the warm remarks that were given by the special invitees and that I want to say how good it is to be a part of the team here with the GNBS and serving the region in this capacity and as Miss Representative of RIO said we look forward to working with the region and working with all the stakeholders here to bring a nice balance to both the consumers as well as the, the businesses so that everyone has a profit and then as well as the consumers have uh, optimum service provided by the businesses. In addition, while in Latham, the GNBS team also held several meetings with stakeholders, including the councillors of the Latham Town Council, the Regional Administration, and the Rupununi Chamber of Commerce and Industry to discuss mutual concerns and areas for collaboration. The stakeholders have all committed to assisting the GNBS in the delivery of its mandate in the region. Further, a school lecture was conducted for students of the St. Ignatius Secondary School and an interview was provided on Radio Latham to create awareness of GNBS and its services in the region. Stakeholders needing to contact the GNBS Latham office can call 592-693-0845 to speak with Inspector Jad Atkinson stationed in Latham. The Latham office is the ninth sub-office opened by the GNBS in administrative regions across the country. With support from the government, the GNBS has successfully established offices in Anna Regina Region 2, Vreden Hoop Region 3, Fort Wellington Region 5, New Amsterdam and Caribbean Region 6, Bartica Region 7, Madia Region 8, and now Latham Region 9. Shortly, the GNBS is set to open its office in Mavaruma Region 1. On the other side of the break, we will update you on our Made in Guyana Certification Mark program. Do stay tuned. Thank you for staying tuned to this edition of the GNBS in 30. In November, the GNBS certified five companies under the Made in Guyana Certification Mark program. These companies are Denmore Garments Manufacturing, Guyana Thermoplastic Limited Tulsi Prasad Group of Companies, Prestige Manufacturing and Bottling Enterprise, Sterling Products Limited, and Nand Prasad and Company Limited. 
the companies are approved to use the GNBS Made in Guyana standards mark on their products, manufactured for sale in Guyana and abroad. This mark focuses on creating competitiveness for authentic Guyanese products while creating a framework for the development of quality systems within our local content. Here are the highlights from the certification ceremonies hosted in November. Now achieving the Guyana mark is on being the, the Guyana mark that we're having from the GNBS. Having that will certainly add recognition and pride to our company and to our, our products that we produce. I would say when it comes to garment, you know, we always try to choose either price, quality or service. We have a choice to and as we're making our choice, they say in business sometimes you can only pick two. Price, quality, one would sacrifice, right? So in visiting the company, I know you have the ability to deliver the quality without compromise. Um, it is my hope that this certification mark would not only, would not only take the mark through Guyana for other companies to follow, but, but my hope is that this certification mark will increase business for your company. In preparing my thoughts for this afternoon, I came across a quote from Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and this is what he said. Success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success. Greatness will come and I must say it came today. Denmore, being the first garment company, is joining our long list of certified companies under our Made in Guyana standards mark. And it gives me great pleasure to stand here before you to give you this special reward for your hard work. And I believe that this push is gonna continue and I would like to encourage many other uh, companies, businesses to Jump on the bandwagon. Do what you need to get done to improve your space of production so that you can approach a team at GNBS to get that mark of certification. Sterling Products Limited has always been proud to be associated with branding that conveys excellence to our customers and consumers, whether they are internal, external, local, regional, or international. Notwithstanding that the Mighty Foam brand has been established for more than 60 years, today Sterling Products Limited is pleased to be associated with the Made in Guyana brand. Um, I would like to open by saying a heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to Sterling for their partnership at the GMSA because Sterling has spent their time, Mr. Ramsey Ali is here, he has devoted his personal time, his company's time, 
towards the partnership that the GMSA has with GMBS. I know this is a very proud moment for you that your company has now attained the approval to use the Made in Guyana certification mark. And more so on 22 of your products, which include the powder detergent as well as the liquid detergents. Um, the journey has now begun and I hope we can maintain this mark and even extend your scope to other products that is manufactured by Starling Products Limited. Our intention always been to what survey do, we do it very efficient, high quality, good service, and that's always been our way of doing business. Let me say on behalf of GNBS, thank you for using the services of the Made in Guyana Standard Mark. It's quite an achievement for Nantasad and Company Limited. Now you can, you can happily showcase that your Caribbean rice is uh, made in Guyana. So I know that you guys are not only in the lo uh, local market, but you're also in the regional and international market. Applications are still open for the GNBS Made in Guyana Certification Mark program. We are encouraging businesses to apply and get their local products certified. Already, many more companies have been audited by the Certification Services Department to ensure that they are fulfilling requirements. Let the GNBS help you increase your competitiveness on the local and international market. More after this break. Do you want to give your business or product much needed recognition while giving your customers and employees the best you have to offer? The GNBS Certification Services Department is here for you. We provide certification for PVC pipes, gold jewelry and concrete hollow blocks as well as medical and testing laboratories. Need to assess your operation systems? Our auditing services are just what you need. Our well-versed team is prompt and efficient, ensuring that no stone is left unturned, ensuring your success. Contact the Certification Services Department of the GNBS to find out how to get started. GNBS, creating a culture of quality through standards. Still on the topic of certification, the GNBS on November 10 certified the Home Care Medical Laboratory located at Columbia, Essequibo Coast, under its laboratory certification program. This new laboratory has successfully demonstrated conformance to the requirements of the Guyana Standard, GYS 170-2009, general requirements for the operation of a laboratory. The certificate, which is valid for two years, was formally handed over to the laboratory's Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Mahesh Itwaru, by the Technical Officer within the Certification Services Department of the GNBS, Mr. Lachman Mudusami, during a brief presentation ceremony at the laboratory's location. Let's take a look at the highlights. We're here to um, celebrate this moment. This is a historic moment, not just for us as Satro Medical Center, but of course the region as in whole. We are the first um, GNBS certified medical laboratory and we are proud of this moment because of course this is our willingness to show how much we want the best for the patient or the citizens um, of region number two. 
We want to tell the public that we are here, you can trust us, we want to build confidence in our test reports. We want to tell them that we are reliable, we're efficient in what we are doing, and we are here to serve you, the public. I want to uh, encourage you and the organization as a whole to aim for continual improvement in terms of, and this can be done through via internal auditing, management review, and by identifying opportunities for improvement during your operation. There are now 25 clinical and testing laboratories certified by the GNBS. The Bureau encourages more uncertified laboratories to pursue certification under its laboratory certification program. How do you ensure that the products and items you purchase are quality? We do it so that you don't have to worry. The Product Compliance Services Department of the GNBS ensures consumer and retailer protection through inspection and monitoring of products. To date, we inspect 17 categories of products, ranging from footwear, mobile phones and gold articles, to electrical fixtures and fittings, all just to ensure that a substandard product never reaches the consumer. To find out more, contact our Product Compliance Services Department. GNBS, creating a culture of quality through standards. Thanks for staying with us. We are in the Christmas season and our team visited downtown Georgetown to share with you some shopping tips to help you make better choices. We know early in the season, persons tend to shop for their electrical appliances and furniture along with the bigger items which we are already seeing on deals. In this video, filmed at the court's Main Street branch, my colleagues from the Corporate Communications and Product Compliance Departments will share what you should look for when shopping for furniture and electrical appliances. We know early in the season, persons tend to shop for their electrical appliances and furniture, along with the bigger items which we are already seeing on deals. In this season, we will let you know of what the GNBS is doing to monitor furniture and electrical appliances, advise you as consumers to make the best choices in terms of quality and affordability as you shop to beautify your homes. When, when an importer imports, uh, every consignment is subject for inspection by the GNBS. So we have inspectors going at the um, ports of entries, we have inspectors going at the sale outlets, we have in, um, inspectors going at the importers barn or warehouses carrying out inspection to ensure that the products that are coming into Guyana, they comply with the requirements of the national standard. Today we are at ports and they have a lot of electrical appliances on sale. What are some of the things that you think consumers can look, to ensure, look at to ensure that they protect themselves? Okay, consumers can um, look at a product, to ensure, um, like for instance, they, we're talking about the electrical appliance. They can look and ensure that they're buying an appliance that have a brand name, that carries a model number, that carries uh, the country of origin, the voltage, the frequency, and the certification mark. It's basically the same thing what we, the inspectors, look for when we're doing our, um, our inspection. But one other thing I want to say to consumers is that whenever you're looking for an appliance ensure you look for that certification mark that certification mark like what I, like i would have mentioned earlier it basically attests to the quality of the product and basically said that the pro product was tested and was approved and so a certification mark would have been affixed to it so i would urge consumers to look for that certification mark on the on that electrical appliance you mentioned gold <coughs> why is it important for them to also check that oh yes that's a pretty good question um it is very, very much important for um, persons to check to ensure that an appliance has the label uh, stating the voltage. Now, think about this. If you're living in a 220 volts area, 
and you go to buy a blender that is 110 um, that doesn't mark or doesn't have any 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 information stating the voltage and it happens so that that blender is a 110 volt you take that blender home and you plug it in here to 20 point right that blender is going to blow it's going to burn so we see how important it is for uh, that appliance to have that labeling information stating the volts right because you don't want to buy something take it home and then um, and then it burn thank you very much you're welcome now we're talking electrical appliances to share some additional tips with you that you should consider when shopping for these items be sure to test your appliances test your appliances where you bought them so that if there is a problem you can detect it right there and then collect a receipt you must collect a receipt in case you need to replace something shop from places which offers warranty you are supposed to be offered a warranty for all of your electrical appliances but in cases where there may be a problem and you're not being offered one then you should go somewhere else and shop where you are offered a warranty consider the space where your appliance will be placed to ensure that your you purchase the right size appliance for where, whichever part of your home you're going to place that. And of course, check for labeling requirements outlined in this video. Now we'll move on to talk to you about furniture. Now, let's get into the questions. Can you tell me or in, enlighten our viewers, what is it that we look for when we monitor furniture? Okay, like my um, colleague could have mentioned earlier, um, similarly, furniture, um, we basically look at the labeling requirements. Um, and this was derived from the national standard that was drafted for furniture. Um, things like the furniture must carry a brand, the furniture must carry a, um, on the label must state the country of origin, it must state um, the usage and care, it must state the materials that was used to, um, to make the furniture as well. For some furniture, you must state um, the finish, what type of finish, what type of products was be, was, um, has been used to finish the product, um, the furniture. I would want to advise the manufacturers, the importers, and the dealers of furniture to continue to stick to the requirements of the standard, um, get registered with the GNBS, because there are so many benefits that can be derived from um, sticking to the standard. You, you attract customers, and persons are guaranteed you know, that the furniture would have met the requirements of the GNBS, and they would feel much more safe and comfortable purchasing from you. Now, thank you to our product compliance department and our inspectors who assisted us today. We do hope you were adequately educated and do like our Facebook and Instagram pages to learn more. I do hope you have learned something which can improve your shopping this Christmas season. Moving on, the corporate communications team conducted several school lectures at schools across the country in a bid to promote standards and quality from a young age. We visited schools in regions 3, 4, 5, and 9, where students were told of careers and standards, importance of using the metric system, and key functions of the GNBS to promote consumer protection and business development. Meanwhile, the GNBS, in collaboration with the Department of Consumer Affairs and the Guyana Competition and Consumer Affairs Commission, hosted and conducted a grand school lecture at the Arthur Chung Conference Center. Students from various secondary schools were present. They participated in a team building exercise and were given the opportunity to learn about the key functions of the GNBS, careers and standards, the importance of using the International System of Units metric system, the rights of consumers and how to file a complaint. Now this brings us to the end of this month's edition of the GNBS in 30 television program. Ensure you follow us on Facebook as we keep you updated on the various services offered by the Bureau, including training, verification, calibration and testing, standards, and more. For more information, visit our website at gnbsgy.org. To contact us, call 219-0064-266 or WhatsApp us on 692-4627. Goodbye for now.